Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be flipping through journal number 10. It's a big number. Also ignore the band-aid I have on my finger. It's a little yellow crayon. This is my 10th journal. Pretty exciting. Big number. It isn't my favorite journal. A lot of the pages ended up blank and just unfinished and so I'm not super happy with it but I start to like it towards the end of this journal so you'll kind of see the progress. This journal also took me a long time. It was less than a year but it was still several months. This band has really held it together well so the pages are nicely compressed together. Let's just get straight into it. So you open up to this, there's like a little page in between, but it just has personal information. So this journal I started November 27th of 2021 and I ended it September 11th, 2022. This might look familiar to you, I don't remember if I set it up in a journal with me or not, but I definitely showed it on my channel before. This for journal number 10. Already did not... Like, it's such a sad start because I already didn't finish a page. This was for a program I did. Same, still with the program. That's how I started off this journal. It was like a multi-day program thing. So that's how I started off this journal. And, like there's so much unfinished like particularly at the beginning of this journal I went to see Beach Bunny this was around Christmas time I would have really loved this page if I finished writing it a little currently this can be good to switch up your journaling and it's really nice to see later back it's really nice to look back on later to see what you are like currently into and what was going on in your life just like in a condensed version basically this was from christmas never wrote this so it's awkward my dog was sick I got my first tattoo as you can see that was back in January I love this tea it's so pretty it's from I think it was maybe from Trader Joe's I don't know I think I just got it from my sister I went to Cancun. It was very exciting. It was my first time out of the country. I didn't do this like doodle until like so long after but I set up this page around this time and I was gonna put a picture of my tattoo but I forgot and I never did it so I ended up just drawing it. <laughs> this is blank. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why I folded that. This turned out kind of cute. I did some doodles with it. Phoebe Bridgers lyrics. More Phoebe Bridgers lyrics. This is not a positive time. Animal Crossing stuff though. I collected all the fruits. I just love this page so much more when I filled it all up. I just love the look of writing. Like, I hate when I don't finish it, but something is better than nothing. I like to emphasize this on my channel. Just putting something on the page is better than just putting nothing because at least I can get some context about this day and read something. I love putting packaging in my journals. Spruces it up a bit. This was a good spread. Got some new pens. It is this kind, the Sharpie Note. Here's a complete page, just this one. This one was not. This one I actually wrote that it was abandoned, whereas like some of them I just like kept blank. I tried to fill it up with some 
watercolor to have something else going on because I was sick of seeing all these blank pages in my journal. But there were some moments of writing and some full pages. So this journal wasn't a complete dud. This was a nice spread. Like I had some good spreads throughout it, but overall this journal wasn't as successful. I went to see Phoebe Bridgers for the second time. It was very exciting. My little review, I put a ghost in for her. This folds out. I also saw Rex Orange County for the very first time, which was super exciting. I went with my friend and I had a great time. I went to my first Pride. There's a lot of exciting events in this journal that it's sad because I wish I could just condense it to like the good parts of this journal because when I look through it, it feels empty, but overall there is still a lot in this journal. There's a lot of good spreads. Tiny house plans, you know how I feel about tiny houses. I like how I spelled this out in the washi tape, I think that was a fun idea. This was just like a doodle thing, I was kind of having fun with that. I never do that in my journal, so. Just switching it up. More tiny house plans. I was very excited about tiny houses at the moment. And some doodles, I just did a doodle page. Here's when it gets into like, lately when I've been journaling more and I think there's been a lot of successful pages. I did some crochet inspo and then these are the two blankets that I made and then some more inspiration for like going forward and what I'm making. I really want to learn how to do a spiral stitch. I still haven't done that. I like this spread. It's very pretty. To a little kids store and they had uh <laughs> this toy store had mini disco ball in like little blind boxes which i love so i got a couple i moved into college i had this little fun door flip up that i made i just used like i think watercolor paper i made some watercolor doors and then made a little tab to glue it in and i also i passed through west virginia and like there's a business card of a place we went to. It was like a coffee shop that we went to. So it was fun. I had my orientation. My stationary pal hall. Here's the black, black post-it note. And I tested my pens on it. Different pens, not ones that I got from stationary pal, but different ones I had that I wanted to see how they wrote on black paper. Yeah, I really like how these pages turned out. Um, it's what I've been doing lately with some of my new stationery supplies. Like the stuff from Stationery Pal. But yeah, I've really been having fun with it. And I think they've turned out really nicely. This I was just playing around. I just wanted something to color in. So I made the roughest outline of a pencil to color in. Same with this weird banana. This was from a print I got. They sent this in. It's called Sad Society Press on Etsy. And so that came with my order. I actually tried to film a journal with me to this spread, but I hate how the spread turned out. So I'm like not gonna post it. Also, I was having difficulties with filming, so. But if you actually care to see it, you can tell me and maybe I will edit it. Someday, I love this spread. This is just some scrap paper and I have my tea. And then that was it. That was the last spread. And also, so this is my new date stamp. I got a self-inking date stamp from Amazon. It's really cool. I really like that it, it's self-inking because it's much easier than always having a stamp pad on me which can also get messy so this is very clean but yeah i just got it on amazon you can look up self-inking date stamp 
And so I've been using that a lot lately. So I just did that for my last day. Let me find an example. Like these, I just put it at the bottom of each day that I wrote. This one I put it on here and on my scrapbooking paper and this one on the sides. So I've really been loving that. In the back of my journal had a calendar which I tried to plan out things. And I just split it up and used the end of it for 2021 because that's uh, when I was using it. And oh my god, I just realized that I split it up perfectly because I used it in 2021 starting October, even though I started this journal in November, I'm pretty sure. And so it left it perfectly for September. I just now realized that because I haven't used this part in a while, but it kind of worked out perfectly. But yeah, that is journal number 10. We are in double digits. It's very exciting. I have started journal number 11. Here we have journal number 11. I have started it. I already uploaded the video of me setting up this journal. Also, I added some of my strawberry stickers from my sticker sheet that is on my Etsy. So I used the strawberries from my sticker sheet to kind of make it a little more cohesive. And I like how it goes with the strawberry mobile. But I've really been liking how this journal is going. That's my little sneak peek. I also posted on my TikTok finally. I wasn't really planning on it, but I just did. So you can check that out to see if there's any journal updates and maybe you'll see some new spreads in this journal, so. So yeah, that's the journal update. It's the end of this journal. It was a complex journal. I don't know how to feel about it. It's definitely not one of my favorite journals, but this journal already is becoming one of my favorites. So I'm really excited to just move on to my next journal and work on that and leave this journal in the past. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Maybe it made you feel better about not always being on top of journaling. Or maybe it gave you some inspiration too. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking and I will see you in my next one.